Sounds like we might have to call the bomb squad. Really? Are you serious? Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Johnny from the Georgia River Boys and I am diving today with Britton from Depths of History and we actually are gonna dive a new bridge. I'm always very excited to dive new bridges because that means there's gonna be a lot of weapons, there's gonna be a lot of just stuff we have not seen. But other than the weapons, we also find crazy things. So sometimes we find bombs, sometimes we find grenades. Um, but we are always looking for weapons. We are always looking for garbage. And we want to be sure to get uh, just get all that stuff out of the environment and go ahead and throw it away. Today I'm diving with Britton. Got him here. How's it going? We're getting all geared up. We're about to head down there. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few. All right, remember guys, if you're liking these videos, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Tell the viewers what we should be doing right now, Gav. Right now, you should be liking and subscribing because uh, we kind of have a dream and you know, you can help us with that. Of course, we got Gavin's out here today doing his skimboarding. All right, so I got Johnny. We're gonna head this way. Yeah, I just want, there's a lot of sand right there. I just want to kind of feel it out, but. Uh... machine. Uh, all one. I'm gonna try to. Hey look at this. Sew machine. I'll pull it up, get a better look at it, but that is amazing. Old school.
<laughs> that is wrong. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Brandon. I'll so want to find one. Wow. Wow. That it feels heavy. I think bullets are still in it. That is wild. That is crazy. <laughs> so awesome, man. That was awesome that you got. Yes, thank you, thank you. cool I mean not a piece of rust on it it's very cool it's one of the little ratchet deals okay guys we're all finished with our dive it was amazing I actually found an awesome gun today I'm so excited Britain found an AR which is insane so cool um, I found a few other things everything was looking pretty good um, we'll go over here and look at all our finds on the tailgate in just one second, but it was a great day. I'm so glad y'all got to come with us on that. The current was really rough. The current was so strong, so at one point it ripped open my bag, pulled out all my trash, and the gun fell out. But I was able to grab the gun, put it back in the bag, and um, but I don't have that many finds. Some of them flew out, but let's let's go over my finds real quick. All right, guys, this is the uh, the gun that I was able to find. Really excited about that. Um, looks like a 40 Smith & Wesson. So far we actually found a really cool mag light. Um, still has the batteries in it. A couple golf balls. We all know it's not official. Scuba dive until we found the golf balls. Um, found a really cool license plate. I love finding these. I actually collect these and hang them in my garage. Um, I, I brought this up because it was the only thing down there that wasn't rusted. And then, look at that guys. That is amazing. Such a great find. So we're gonna go ahead and give the police a call real quick and uh, get these uh, guns turned in. He's got the AR. I got the, uh, looks like a Smith & Wesson. Okay, so we just went through the finds. We did all that. Um, Britain's coming back right now. Let's go ahead and call the police, get them out here, and uh, let's see if we can turn these weapons over. Cause I'm getting thirsty. Let's call the police. Um, yes, I was actually calling. This is obviously a, not an emergency, but I was calling because my friend and I were just scuba diving in the Chattahoochee River, and we came across two firearms. Right, you give me good information. I'm just having to change everything out because the radar is run up, but it's in the area. Of, and I'm going to be a little more specific where to find you out there. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Johnny. I'll let Moss know that we'll get him out there with you. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Right, thanks, sir. We just gave the cops a call. Um, they should be here hopefully any minute, but probably 20, 30 minutes. So we're just gonna hang around and wait for them. And I came across an uh, AR-15 and my buddy came across a pistol okay. while we were uh, scuba diving in the river. And um, they're right here behind me. I was kind of confused at first, but we figured we'd at least call, I mean, I know that pistol's real, so. You found unexploded ordinance too? Oh yeah, that, I found that as well. I was gonna ask you about that. Okay. But I mean, that's just like a shell. I, I don't. Th I think it's just a bullet. I don't think it's a. But I wanted to ask you about it. I mean, you can be the judge, but. I think. That, that, that's the entire round right there, so. Oh. Okay. Sounds like we might have to pull the bomb squad. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, any any oh, no. firearms or unexploded ordnance that we can't. Um, I didn't see. I didn't hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Then that has to be disposed of by our bonds. Okay. Um. Because I and I didn't mean I didn't want to cause anything like that from happening. I had no idea that was like really what. But I found I found mortars like World War II. Like I found a pipe bomb. They got really mad when we brought yeah. that stuff up. Yeah. So, so you know I, I didn't know that that was the case with that because we we found pipe bombs and we know what those look like. We know right. what mortars look like. But right. I didn't know that was an unexploded. Yeah. Normally they just yeah. they just take the shells normally. Yeah, I don't know what they would want to do. I know for the firearms, um, they're going to have to take because I can't properly clear them. Okay. So there, there could still be rounds in them. Okay. 
Okay. Um, and then as far as the, the ordnance, usually they take rounds and stuff like that, but because it's so old and degraded, I don't know if they would take it. As far as these firearms. Isn't that weird, man? I, I was like, when I pulled it up, I was like, oh, it's just some BB gun. Interesting, though. It is interesting. <laughs> yeah, and the, uh, the, calling the bomb squad. I don't know if that's the best idea. I don't know idea. if that's needed for that, but... Yeah, because we've well, kind of... They would... They're going to get mad at us. So... <laughs> the 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 whole thing with the bomb squad is any firearms that I cannot clear, like, make sure the chamber oh, is empty. the bomb squad comes from Yeah, so the, okay. the, the... Oh, really? The bomb squad takes all firearms that we cannot ensure that the okay. chamber is empty. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Over. Yeah, so they, they just take the firearms and they destroy them. Oh, really? Wow. So... That makes more sense though, because I was yeah. kind of like confused. Guys, cops just left. That what an amazing day scuba diving today. Um, they take the guns with them. It was just incredible. Britain found that AR. I found that um, little nine mil or forty. But such a good day. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, we're gonna see you on our next dive.